it's in great shape. So, I if you can find your way to an all these guys, it, they may or may not still have it. Um, but even even fourteen dollars, I would still pay that. It, it 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 the paper is fantastic. I mean, the perforated pages, etc. I would still pay fifteen dollars for this. But man, did I score when I got this for three bucks. So I cannot believe the amount of water that it took with so little damage. It, it's absolutely unbelievable. Isn't that a cute page? <laughs> so, yeah, guys, please, I highly recommend this book. Even even at the the fifteen dollar price, it's it's fantastic. So, with that said, guys, uh, have a great weekend. Uh, I love you all. Stay safe and be kind to each other. Bye. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another episode of Flash Friday. So I wanted to, before I show you the flip through, which is, I wasn't talking during that. I wanted to go over this book a little bit and this, the page that I did. So. This book I picked up at a discount store called Ollie's uh, for three bucks, you guys. Three bucks. Well, I mean, three and some, you know, tax, but it's called Patch NYC and it's, let's see, Gal Gallison um, Manufactured in China, of course. But look how shiny that is. Look at that. Oops. Bring this out a little bit. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Cool, right? Look at how pretty that is, right? And, I mean, even the backs, it's just kind of... But what I wanted to talk about first was the paper. I mean, the paper, I don't know if you can tell, but... One way to tell how thick the paper is besides feeling it. You hear that? That heavy thud. The heavier the paper is, the he the lower that thud will sound will make. So if you have paper that's like, say, um, lighter. For example, I'll give you an example. Like, say, one of my cheaper coloring books. Not only does it flop around a lot, you see that? How it flops around? There's no stiffness to it. And that it's much higher, the sound is much higher versus this. Yeah. And the designs are just so, they're not uber detailed. They are somewhat detailed, but not like curvy. So if you want to just do something that's a little simple, but the paper, I mean, the designs are super cute. So you'll see, you can see that in the flip through. Oh, and they're perforated. I, you could probably see me toward the end of the video trying to pull this page out. They're all perforated. It, it three bucks. Uh, now, on Amazon, I can't say, um, but uh, I do know it's available. Uh, let me check real quick. Oh man, oh you guys are not going to believe this. So, on Amazon, they want $15 for this book. I got it for $3 at this discount store that has everything from a little bit of food to bedding to coloring books, cooking books, Bibles, cleaning stuff. It's, it's kind of a cool store. So, I hope you live near Nollies because two ninety eight dollars but and some tax and on Amazon it's going for fifteen dollars. Three bucks. Yes, I they do not have it anymore, sadly. I should have gotten more. But yeah, and so this is the page that I did from it. Isn't it gorgeous? Isn't it a pretty? Yeah, I love it. Um, so I did watercolor from Paul Rubens. They're uh, Vivid, which is this. I have not done a review on it, but 
this set is amazing it's so pigmented i love these little the things because you can um the water the paint and stuff will collect in here and drip down it's a phenomenal phenomenal paint set and then i also used a woodlands uh from prima um which is also really nice so and I uh, use some uh, water-soluble crayons from King Art, Cron Dash, um, Luminous pencils, Pan Pastels, white a couple of white uh, white Prisma. You know, it's one of those things. I threw a lot of stuff at it. Mostly the pencils were just to sort of, and the Pan Pastels were just kind of to finish it off and you know, sort of top it off, so to speak especially because I was having issues with the background but uh yeah I think and the best part is as and I threw so much wet media at this I mean we're talking not just the water cell the cranes but we're talking like straight up watercolor like I was showing you and it took it and there were a few issues but right here and right here and right here a little bit right here too sorry but I mean, considering the heavy, I mean, I mean, took what I mean, lots of watercolor, major amounts of watercolor, and this is the only issues that I had. This can be easily, easily covered up with a background. Like I could do an ocean background with this, and this right here would be out. Uh, this right here would be absolutely no, no problem to cover up. And considering the massive amount of wet media I threw at this picture, <laughs> 